and welcome to Euphoria, a podcast where we look back on the great glam and diggerish of Eurovision past. I'm Isabel Chilman and I'm joined as ever by the, uh, oh, I didn't think of a D word. Oh no, I failed at the first hurdle. You know what? Delightful. Have we done that one? Clearly. Well, we didn't mention it before, but the utterly bingeable... Utterly bingeable, uh, according Euro-phoria. to... Euphoria. According to Malta. Uh, <laughs> Roland Bodnum, how's Hello, it going, mate? Hello, I'm doing very good. Um, suddenly, it's all become very real <laughs> that Eurovision is here. Imminent. And, like, seriously. So we're recording this on Tuesday, mm-hmm. the day of semi-final one. Oh, my God. Uh, something crazy would have happened. Oh, uh, oh. it's crazy when that owl flew Someone on stage will- and... <laughs> Out. Yeah, let's try and guess what's <laughs> happened. And then, wasn't it mad when Yon Oland Street <laughs> as soon as the Ukraine started singing? Like, um, it's it's going to be, I mean, how, no, it can't be over yet. It, what? No. I mean, no. We're keeping the dream alive Not one one story at a time. No. Right, well, let's do this uh, now then uh, to drown away our sorrows. Isabel, <laughs> would you like a lovely glass of Chateau Capillol? From France. Yes, please. I would okay, indeed. I will do. It's lovely stuff. The co-op across the road from our new base of recording has quite a limited range of countries where wine is from. Uh, not the as good as my nice. corner shop. No, seriously. So um, I might have to find a, a new one nearby that, that sells a bit more range. There must be something around here. There must We're be. We're in central London. There's yeah, got to be something yeah. interesting. How's your week been? Oh, it's been? It's been It's been fine. Yeah, just fine. <laughs> no, it's been great. I had a new housemate move in. Oh, she's, yeah. she's French. This can be for her. I have, we? I have been feverishly updating the Reddit uh, subreddit for Eurovision. And <laughs> there's been so much going on because lots of people are out there now. And all the semi-final, all the um, dress rehearsals have been happening as well. So yeah. there's all like video coming through. Yeah, I've been trying not to watch too many of them because I quite, I just, I'm excited for tonight bit, and yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Because obviously today's Tuesday Yeah, because we're in the past. Yeah. when you're listening to this now um and i yeah i'm trying to steer clear yeah. of it because i want it to be fresh yeah well here's to tonight hang on hey oh, that was an echoey pop one. that was funny uh, uh here we go let's have a little listen <laughs> that was the best pop and clug we've had that yet that was really that clear. was a beautiful <laughs> clugging noise in honor of your vision that and was just again. Sort of perfect this will be a 12 Oh, that's a 12. Sounds like you're falling into a swimming pool or something. Hey, <laughs> cheers to the semi finalists. Cheers. Uh, Isabel. So we're going to start off with. Eurovision News. Do you have any? Nah. I, I have some. Yeah, this is an update on the uh, conversation we had. Was it, it was either last week or two weeks ago. Do you remember how Norway wanted to bend the rules so yeah, that yeah. they could uh, have their... pre-recorded mm-hmm. vocals on? Well, I have to say, the rules have been bent. Yeah, mate. Well and truly bent. Yeah, I mean... I've got notes on this it, later. To oh, do you with do? The, okay, yeah. yeah. We're we'll playing Norway's one because they've... They're having it. It's where, happening. Where does this end, though, Isabel? I'm very worried. I've now, because now that I've heard the song as well. Yeah. I, th- I mean, I think we should discuss when we get to Norway okay, okay. because I've got opinions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that isn't the only news I've got, so we'll save that news okay. for the other one. My other news, and I really like this news, is that um, sticking with uh, Norway, actually, um, a Norwegian juror. Uh, has been replaced due to a breach of rules following comments about Ireland's entry. So this is a member of the jury who give a portion of the voting points to each country. And they were caught saying... Uh, allegedly, they were allegedly caught saying mm-hmm. legal there. Um, the Ireland they were ha- allegedly caught, allegedly saying. Yeah, allegedly, just really cover my back. Um, the Ireland have lost it completely when it comes to Eurovision. Now, <laughs> now these judges, part of the rules. Are I mean, that- he's not wrong. <laughs> But but part of the rules are that these judges have to remain impartial, yeah. they're judges, and they can't be heard, like, dissing another country or whatever. So uh, that person, that judge has been kicked off of the jury and replaced with someone else. Oh, dear. Um, so that was a little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a fracas. That's rather exciting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> I, I mean, again, Ireland is going to be discussed in this week's podcast. Yeah, we'll podcast. get there. Yeah. Not 
<laughs> so that's a really brief bit of news because there's just so much. We're not, you know, there's lots of other news outlets um, that are doing it. In fact, uh, I will give a shout out to Pop Bitch who oh release Oh my God. Each they year. do the most amazing digital report yeah, guide it's, thing. It's like an amazing digital magazine. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone or a tablet or a smartphone. We were obsessed with it last yeah, year, weren't we? It's just the most in-depth like coverage of each individual song. But then at the end, they have like pages after page of um just like insight into what key you should be in the the semitone yeah normally what you're not going to do very well because you've had used this key instead of that key and this structure instead of that and this is your placement in the competition and actually people who come third in the second semi-final normally aren't going to get through because and it's it's bonkers so if you i'm I'm going to reference it a couple of times in here and i'll be sure to credit but like if you are interested at all just search pop bitch on the uh whatever google's store or Mm. apple store um, for it because it really is like it's beautiful it's my, oh yeah it's, it's a piece we, of art a work yeah, of art yeah we got quite emotional about it last year <laughs> it was we amazing discovered, didn't we? yeah it's yeah. fantastic um, shall we move on Isabel yeah any other any other business any other business so we've got a couple of emails to start uh, off excellent. with excellent love um, it from, uh, from some listeners which is really nice so we're mm. going to start off with an email from Daniela mm. with the subject line a tired email. Oh, <laughs> oh love. We know have a, have a sit down. Yeah. Put your feet up, mate. Yeah. Come on, have a rest. It's, good. it's almost Eurovision, it's almost for God's there. sake. Build up the build up the stamina exactly so Daniela says I just got home from a long shift and wanted to say thanks for making a great entertaining podcast that I can listen to you while working it's very sweet of you Daniela it's very nice also a question for Roland do you make any music outside of the podcast I honestly think it's super impressive <laughs> that you've made a song every week for like 20 years now 20 years <laughs> 20, 20 years uh, fuck no I don't do any other songs no why would you ever want him Jesus to make Christ. any more of this music Daniela seriously <laughs> a song a week is, is enough I'm not, I've got another podcast where I do five songs per, episode, per he's, week no. he's banging out more content uh, than Ed Sheeran is yeah, mate bloody hell and he does um, videos I, not to his songs <gasps> that's the next step oh music videos music videos <laughs> yes <laughs> so I have maybe r- written and recorded four songs before this in my life um, one, it's just raw talent, Daniela. One is a one is a, a rap about um, drinking tea. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not allowed to use them in this podcast. No, they new have content to only. Yeah, new content only. So That's I how can't. Eurovision works. But if you rule. if you cyber sleuths out there decide to dig it up, then uh, feel free. Oh, if you're going to do some digging on Roland, you'll also oh God, potentially don't. find no. some amazing old video vlogs that Roland did as a teenager <laughs> that are mortifying, and we watch as a group at work quite regularly. Hey, I've been on the cutting edge of internet broadcasting <laughs> for years now. That's all you're, I'm saying. Yes, of course. Um, Daniel. Daniela also put, P.S. Isabel, I would totally marry you. Oh, shit. You're getting proposals, Hell like, yeah. global proposals. Thanks, Daniela. <laughs> um, not sure where Daniela's from, though. Uh, but um, if you could let us know, Daniela, that'd be great. And let us know what job you could do in while you're listening to the to our podcast. We're really... We, thanks so much. Yeah, we're really glad that we can give you a little bit of entertainment while you Hell work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, we also got a lovely email from the lovely Lynn who contacted us last week oh yeah Lynn 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 Lynn, yeah Yeah. so Lynn says hi again greetings from Finland so we guessed correctly there we go yeah we did yeah see picture below of me toasting you from the famous Finnish fjords and mountains no and it is a unbelievable view which I will tweet the picture because it is beautiful so congrats Lynn oh my god we got a toast I know that's fantastic Lynn loves it when we pop off with the bottle though doesn't she (laughs) oh god she does (laughs) Um, also Lynn was the one last week who um, gave us our new favourite phrase oh yeah it's like William asking Daisy to go to the festival. Yeah, love which it. I tried to. We I tried to. Thought was just lost in translation. Yeah, I tried to fit it into conversation this week. It's it's been tricky, but I've it, tried to. I'm as am I. Yeah. I think the only person I've used it in reference to is has been you and Benji. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna start It'll pushing this out to the wider. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Community, yeah, for sure. Um, but on reference to that, Lynn says. I was a bit disappointed that none of you got my Downton Abbey reference. <laughs> Sorry for assuming all Brits have watched it. But I do oh, agree man. the reference is way better without the context. I have never watched Downton Abbey. No, me neither. And neither has Benji, clearly. <laughs> so, I love, I always no. thought it was like, <laughs> like a Finnish <laughs> phrase. Like, oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's phrase. a funny Scandinavian <laughs> thing, like, isn't it? Downton like the Abbey. Most, the most English thing you can think Probably of. Probably Maggie Smith that we said it or no something. no idea. <laughs> 
<laughs> sorry, we're idiots, Lynn. We don't. I don't even own a oh, telly. No, uh, I do, but I don't watch Downton Abbey. No, it's not, yeah. But let's pretend it's just a weird finished phrase. It's a finished phrase. phrase. Oh, I wish it was. A, if you have a weird finished phrase that sounds like completely yeah. lost of translation, one of our colleagues, Annika, is Dutch, and she always tells me our Dutch phrases yeah. that mean absolutely nothing in English <laughs> so that's a fun one it's, if you've got any odd um, phrases if you speak a second language yeah. uh, and there was a phrase in your native tongue that does not translate well to English yeah. send it in yeah. because I don't think anything can beat it's like William asking Daisy to go to the festival <laughs> and that's actually English so yeah. um, let us in. know yeah that'll, email us that'll fill some time between uh, this Eurovision and the national <laughs> finals next year won't it yeah we've got 12 months to go guys so we really need you to help <laughs> us out with the content here seriously content it's <laughs> really really going to be helpful mm. but no do please email us mm. thank you again to Lynn and Daniela and everyone else that contacts us um, you can email us at podcast at gmail.com Com, or you can contact us on Twitter, which is at EuphoriaCast. If you want to toast us from various uh, beautiful landmarks in the world, yeah. that'd be great. Uh, oh, that's th- me done. That's, thanks for your emails, guys. It's always so bloody lovely to get people's emails. Oh, isn't it? It oh, we should also just say as well that we got a really good reaction to um, to Benji on the podcast last week. So thank Aww. you um, to Benji for coming in. He is currently. <laughs> oh yeah, he's on route. He might be us. He's on. He's on route. He wasn't yeah. going to get him on time to start with us. But hopefully, at some point before we finish recording, He'll, Benji will turn up. He's making his way across so London. So you might as have a speak. treat. <laughs> you might not. You might just hear his voice as we're saying goodbye. There's a microphone set up. We're so, ready. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but we're not going to wait for him, are we? No, never. There's too never much- I will never wait for him. <laughs> there's too much to talk about. So we're going to go through the second semi-final of Eurovision. And this is coming yes. out on the morning. So you can prepare yourself. You've got time ahead of Thursday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, semi-final one's already happened. That's happened. That's gone. That's done. Forget about they're it. They're dead to us. Yeah, they're all dead to us. The losers. We you'll don't never care about them again, anymore. Again. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to begin, right? We're going to start. And we're going to do the same as last week. We're going to go chronicle Chronolo- chronological order because yeah. obviously I can clearly speak English <laughs> um, chronological order that they are happening on on the evening as well so the way they are listed currently right now in the listings so starting off uh, the semi-final two is going to be Serbia with Tijana Bojicevic, um with In Too Deep which we're not going to play because no. as with last week not that we're just saying these are the worst ones or anything they're just nothing of note so we're going to skip some of them we can't cover all of them we're, we're looking for the, the best and the worst basically yeah. is what we're doing as RuPaul would say tops and bottoms <laughs> only okay yeah no middles yeah, yeah, yeah. no mid the standouts so this is although one of the stronger EDM tracks in this yeah. year I think nothing new and no. needs very strong staging for it to do well get lost it's going to get lost like it's it, gonna get it lost might make crowd. it through to the final but when it does it'll get lost oh it's going to do it's going to be low on the right hand uh-huh. side of the board I'd mm-hmm. imagine mm-hmm. 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 Uh, so skipping over that quickly we will then go on to um, so next up on the night is Austria with Nathan Trent and Running On Air now this is um, I think we're going to have a little, a little listen to this I think okay. people need to have a listen because this is the country that brought us Conchita verse. Let's not forget this yeah, is Austria, yeah. Yeah. the best Bond diva since Shirley Bassey yes. in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they have now brought us what you'll hear is one of the most tedious songs in this year's competition. I'm sure there'll be good times, there'll be bad times, but I don't care because I'm running on air. My answer stays the same. You can try to put me in a box, but I'm doing it my own. All right. So Roland was literally <laughs> rolling his eyes when we were watching that. It's, oh. it's a, it, it, it would have done really well in the UK charts in around, you know, circa 2002, 2003. Yeah. Maybe even as late as 2006. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not relevant now. This is not interesting now. He's a good-looking chap. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't even give him that much. No, he's, he's a, cute. He's a he's boy. He's an average-looking he's, boy. He's a boy. He's yeah. not like he's not like your Robin Bankstons <sighs> or your Slavkos. <laughs> uh, but he's uh, he's a boy. He's like for the teen girls. He's a watching, nice boy. But yeah, I do know that uh, the making of the official music video for this. Uh, I saw a little clip behind the scenes. And I know that at least he he got quite cold filming it because it's all in the mountains and he's just in a jacket. So give him some props for that, I guess. Ah, mate, I'm not interested. No, okay. Honest to God, like, (laughs) there is watching this, 
there is no wonder that Austria had to wait 48 years yeah. between their two Eurovision victories <laughs> <laughs> because if this is the what they're going to put forward each year yeah you're going to wait another 48 mate i do feel like with these smaller countries that like you know it's a smaller population you've got a smaller pool of people to no to i'm not having that excuse no I'm that's true it. sweden's got a very small population and uh, like, yeah sweden's not bloody america not is it all, do you know no. what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Come on, guys, up your game. Up your game. Okay. I've got, I've got really sweaty too now. Look. Oh, no, don't look. No, we're both really sweaty. <laughs> we've both, Roland, we're both sweaty people. We so are. let's be honest about this. Some <laughs> people are just get clammy. <laughs> we get clammy. And I've been rushing around a lot today. Roland has been. And I was complaining earlier about how sweaty I was. And now I've passed that sweat on to Roland. So now we're both just sweating. <laughs> just sweating in this room. It's a good job. It's an audio medium, isn't it? Because <laughs> uh, I don't we think we'd have Okay, so next up in the evening is a favourite of ours to listen to, not necessarily in the contest, uh, which is, ya- is it Yana or Jana? Yana, uh, I guess I'm going to say Yana. Yana Bersheska with Dance Alone, which is um, put forward by good old faves, FYR Mace. <laughs> So banger. this, this banger, has banger, been banger. on my playlist from... You've loved this one from day one, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I think it's a it's a really good tune. It's a slamming track. It's great. It's yeah. great. And and it is... I think this one is Eurovision. I think we... Well, okay, now keep going. I, well, I think it's very modern and it's very, you know, mm-hmm. it is a banger. I think it's more Eurovision than, than some of the ones that we've listened to that we're like, yeah, I, like that's a proper tune. That's a proper tune. It is... Eurovision. Also, though, I'm slightly biased because, as you know, each year I do fall a little bit in love with two or Roland three. Roland falls in love with two or three the... people a day on the street. And but the Eurovision ones, especially yeah. last year, you love a Eurovision blonde, don't you? Belgium, Bulgaria. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there was one other as well. This year, FYR. This Mace. year, the FYR Mace, and there's a there's a couple of others as well. So I. I, w- I don't agree that it's Eurovision. Oh. I don't think it is. I think it's one of the best tracks in this year's contest, mm. but I don't think it's a Eurovision track. Again, I think this is, as we discussed last week, like with um, 2015, Love Injected by yeah. Aminata. Yeah. W- such a strong track, great mm. production, real, as you said, integrity yeah. behind the music in that. Yeah. Um, and this has got an amazing video. So you haven't seen it, check it out. Yeah. It's, really, it's like, really good. If this just got, I don't think they needed Eurovision for no. this. I think this should have just been released into the world. Like a this big, could have got, you know, this could have done really well yeah. in the charts. You get those big Europe. European summer hits, don't you? This and is I think- a banging track great music like whoever directed to the, this on a night out yeah, easily yeah whoever directed the music video is like oh, great yeah. it's like a really good idea like really nice idea but this then makes me this is you watch things like this and you think bloody hell if FY Macedonia are putting yeah. this forward for Eurovision yeah what the bloody hell are we doing at the UK? Yeah. There's people who have worked on this track, the writers, the producers, the the music video, the singer, everything behind it has had a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy and a lot of love and yeah. like real dedication put into it. And you look back at some of the, you know, not necessarily this year, Lucy, you're lovely, but previous oh, yeah, some UK of entries shit. and you're like, Jesus Christ, Fucking come Electro on guys. Velvet. Like oh, that is like scumbags. the most, the most like behind the times. Here's it's a fun song. It's like, what the fuck life. are you doing? I think it will get to the final. But, uh, it's such a good song. It's, such a good it's song. just great anyway. Yeah, They're I'm, not going to win, but it's a great song. I'm, I'm glad that I've heard it through the Eurovision and it will be on yeah. playlists for a long time to come. Hell yeah. So well done, Yana. Well done, FWR oh. Mace. And uh, well done, everyone involved. Yeah. And the music video is great. 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 Next up in the evening <clears throat> is Malta. Oh, our friends Malta. Our friends Malta, <laughs> who I really, really want to be nice about. <laughs> um, with Claudia Faniello with yeah. Breathlessly. Malta, I really love you, but you have definitely won the award this year for the worst lyrics in the contest. Okay. okay so just, just listen to some of these, baby. My feet are warm. But they can handle the cold I know the game, I take the blame I wave my white flag unashamed 
So All right. Me and went in <laughs> it's um, so some of the lyrics there, if you didn't hear them, included "My feet are warm, but they can handle the cold." I know the uh, game. I'll take the blame. I wave my white flag unashamed. I think that's the sort of, it's 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 oh, especially like you said, following up if we're Macedonia. It sort of it sort of like washes over you but like in the way that sort of a wave on the beach with loads of seaweed sort of washes over you it's <laughs> so just you're not like, quite clean afterwards like you're still a left with a bit horrible, of residue like, Ooh, yeah. just seaweed. But if you do i just think it's so outdated as well just instantly forgettable it is uh her 11 11th attempt to make it to eurovision <laughs> representing malta she's tried 11 times in the national final um, bless her and her brother has actually been in the competition twice before in 2001 and 2006 Malta is a small so. pool isn't it <laughs> just that one family Malta, just <laughs> we love you can we help you because I do love Malta I don't want this to be mean no. I'm really sad that I have to be rude about no. their entry I don't know if we'll so Malta in the future if anyone from Malta is listening happy to help I... we're happy to yeah. help with your future use one entries. of my songs Roland can write for you. We will. Um, I will help with styling. We will. We will help however we can. Okay. I'm not sure we're going to be on that list anymore of most <laughs> finishable podcasts. We're so sorry. Malta, I love, we love you. you but it's really but bad. come on. You, it's not going to win. It, I don't think it'll make it to the final. Sorry, no. Malta. Should Sounds we move great. on? Love you. Love you. Bye. Okay. Sorry. Um, up next Ooh, is. Oh yay! <laughs> Oh, wow. So we are next going to listen to um, what I've put down as the Romanian N-dubs, um, if that <laughs> makes sense to anyone listening who outside of the UK, yeah. which is uh, Ilinka featuring Alex Floria with Yodelit for exclamation mark. Don't forget the exclamation no. mark for Romania. All I'm going to say is this is why you watch the semifinals. <laughs> Don't try to hide the light inside of you Today might be the day when you make it, baby So bring it on, bring it on, I'm a dreamer If you don't believe it, come and see me, I'll teach you If you never try, you never be alive You are gonna miss out on this ride Oh, that, I mean... Without doubt, it's the worst song in the contest. <laughs> but that's, I mean, for me, like, that's what Eurovision no, that is. That is Eurovision. Like, and as, as you said, if you don't watch the semis, this, this ain't getting through. <laughs> no. If it does, it's a bloody miracle. And if you didn't watch the semis, you wouldn't know that this absolute treat of a disaster yeah. had been created. And, and you've just played, we've just watched the video. And the last <laughs> one, I've only watched this as the live performance. So I haven't even seen until now how mental the video is. Like the like terrible CG of him, like a green screen onto the top <laughs> of a really high building that they couldn't put him on because he might just fall off. Everything God forbid. in this, the whole like the fake laughing, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey. all you people out there uh, I want to yeah. say one thing uh, <laughs> look it's like if you did a spoof of a Eurovision entry yeah it really is she's I'm sure she's a talented girl she's got <laughs> good at yodeling right and that's a useful skill to have when it's you're shepherding she does it loads mountains. at the end of the song as well yeah, it's she- very like <laughs> Like, oh shit, you should really, do it. You're pretty good at that. Thanks so much. No training. That's my first time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, it's my favourite for being the worst. Yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. Like, you I'd ha- love to see it in the top five. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, genuinely, yeah, yeah. it would warm my heart if something that bad actually endeared itself to the globe so after romania i mean at least we're playing it compared yeah. to some of these other ones now we're not even playing because they're not good enough just, or bad enough just, so at least it's memorable just looking at this list right just having a little pause the second semi-final oh, it's the best it's i got mean the it's the best for the one. worst yeah it's got some real <laughs> like dance. the first semi-final i used the word integrity last episode i'm not gonna be using that word this, <laughs> one, this episode no. no so up next after this i um, i don't think we should play this one either is no i don't even know how to say this is it og3 or ogin or I, og3ne i think it's ogin but i've got no Ogeen. idea so this is the netherlands entry with lights and shadows i ain't too bothered about playing this it's three lovely ladies yeah it starts off very bland and gets less bland as it goes on but i also 
don't think it's that interesting a song. It's been getting popular. It's been getting some popular feelings, but because not... Because they're three nice ladies. Yeah, because they're three nice ladies. I would say. I wouldn't say there's like the vibes of a winner there. You nah. never know, but... Nah, 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 nah. They'll probably get to the final, but... The, there yeah, we go. Yeah. Let's more get, get more yodeling. <laughs> Just get them to yodel. Put a bit of yo- yeah. yodeling there. Um, in fact, oh God, actually, this I is know. like similar to last week that I've <laughs> we got, a, got a whole stretch of ones we're not playing. This is the are. point in the semi-final where you go to the bathroom, make have a cup a of tea, have a cigarette, have a wee, pour another, open another bottle of wine. Pop off a bit further. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. yeah. this is the, the down bit. Oh yeah, you've got, a re- you've got a good 10 minutes probably. Yeah. <laughs> if not longer, three, six, nine, twelve, longer, maybe 15 even, depending on how interested you are. Where are we going to now? So up next we're into Hungary with uh, Yossi Papai with Origo. Yeah. One of very few songs this year not sung in English, which should always be applauded at yeah. Eurovision, I think. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's not my kind of thing. I don't find it that interesting. And um, at first when I was watching it, I was like, oh, it's not for me. But I mean, it's not that bad. I think I'm just being judgy. But then he started rapping. Oh, and then yeah. and then I had, and then I was like, oh no. <laughs> no, I can definitely quite easily say you've done wrong. Yeah. There's, too, there's so many raps in this year's Eurovision. Why yeah. does everyone not understand? I don't know. Rap? Well, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it, <laughs> people are trying to do it. It's not... It's not a good move. It's not a good move. Rapping reggae. We know, we know rapping and reggae. Don't, don't do it. Don't do don't it. Don't touch it. Don't do it. <laughs> um, so up next after that is Denmark with Anya. Where am I? Another one. I mean, do you want to play it? I'm not bothered. No. No, good. No, we're being so, harsh. belting voice, but another duff song. I think I really don't understand this. Like Denmark are so close to sweden why yeah. can't they learn from their neighbors or just steal just some of the people stuff. Just... there must be some shared heritage <laughs> there yeah you need to be looking outside this is not interesting i'm not interested yeah no again come on guys like although coming up i'm quite excited so up after them we're gonna pause oh, there benji jeffrey's neo Ooh. so isabella have just gone isabella's just gone to pick up benji jeffrey i can hear him walking in and into the room walks. It's Benji Jeffrey. Hey! You're over there, there you go. Uh, your microphone's there. Hi. Hiya. Who's <laughs> back? Back by Bob Demand. You've only missed a few, actually. Yeah. Is it? We've yeah. just had a, we've just had a quite a, a, a dry spell of, of terrible, terrible Duds. ones. We've so, still got uh, some more coming up as yeah, well. Yeah, we do. Always got a um, day. So Benj, you'll be glad to hear there was a tweet from um, someone who we know actually. I don't know if you oh. saw it, Isabel, um, from our friend John. Uh, John Beaumont. John Beaumont. He said, I would love to be uh, Benji's best friend. Oh, <laughs> Big delicious. Fan of yours. I told him to come along. Does he mean weekend? best friend or lover? <laughs> oh, he's uh, got a Scandinavian lover. Uh, oh, I don't care uh, for him now. <laughs> don't want to be a friend even. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, meet you. Yeah. So, um, so Sorry, you went John, down, but thank you. You went down very well uh, last week, so yeah. we're very excited to have you back this week, Ben. I'm very excited to be back, Roland. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. So you've joined us. We're just about to go onto Ireland. We're not going to play it. It's okay. not worth it. So this is... It's is it Bren- Brendan Murray. No, no, it's Brendan Murray dying to try. Um, and it is... Aren't we all, Brendan? Trying. <laughs> it is trying. And it's dying. And it's dying at the same time. <laughs> it's maybe one of the dullest songs I've ever heard in my life. This yeah. is um, uh, Louis Walsh's return to Eurovision. So he Can't picked you this bloody one tell. out. It's, uh, I'll quote, um, this is Pop Bitch's amazing app. I'll quote Pop Bitch where they said, once again, he's plundered his roster of cute, milky skinned boy bands. Mm-hmm. And he most certainly has. Hasn't he? It's um, one of Louis' faves. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm. I've seen some staging from this and they do have quite good staging. They uh, features a big uh, real life hot air balloon. Well, they're going to need to because it's a boring song. Yeah. And after last year, I mean, He's going to have to sing better than Nicky Byrne did because he was flat as a pancake. I don't Look, even remember did, what he did. He didn't, it's because he didn't get through the semi-finals. Oh, of course. Ireland didn't get through with a member Burn. of bloody Westlife. If Westlife Bad. can't do it, then who bloody can? Uh, but we're oops. not listening to this. We are listening to no, this. No, it's crap. Um, um, up after this is San Marino with, uh, so this is Valentina Moneta and Jimmy Wilson with Spirit of the Night, which I was going to brush over, but Roland wants to play it, which I'm happy to because... I mean, God bless San Marino for trying. 
This song is mental. Well, we were talking earlier about having a small pool to uh, to pull from, and I mean, this is just they really have ev- it's just a puddle evidence of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So I didn't really want to like listen to this one. No. But it could be an incredible. I know that you you're you if the lyrics, excited, if the lyrics. It could be an incredible good, disco track. The reason I wanted to um include this one is because and this is like and I spoke about Pop Bitch their mm-hmm. thing. This is the main thing that I wanted to uh, reference from them. They did they do an amazing job not only talking about the songs but going into like the music theory of this. Mm-hmm. And they write a big long piece about this song because they use uh, in this song something called the uh, traditionally called the Diabolus in Musica, mm-hmm. which is the Devil's on, Chord. The Devil's Chord. She knows. So, <laughs> Isn't that a fifth above the uh, a fifth? The Devil's Chord is the first, fourth, and fifth notes in a chord. And basically, what it was historically, it was a chord that sounds so horrible <laughs> that it was banned. Uh, and and if you yeah, played the it in music, it, didn't they? you could be punished. Um, uh, like in in olden times so San Marino has decided to use the band chord or the <laughs> no devil's chord so in terrible. their music. Maybe it's... if you play it backwards, there's some kind of message. <laughs> it's the spirit of the night. Backwards, it's like, you're not Kill not the first of your children. <laughs> your virgins will be mine. <laughs> so yeah, so I mainly wanted to use it. So when you listen to that on the night, just know that they're using the devil's chord. Banned. Banned. Banned <laughs> by the church. Okay, good. Um, up next after San Marino are Croatia with Jacques Hudek and my friend. Um, I think we should almost definitely listen to a good chunk of this because it is bad shit crazy. <laughs> yeah, okay. the best. There have been big old articles written about how crazy this is. <laughs> So that is, you are correct in thinking, that is one man, Jacques, duetting with himself Great. on the song, um, looking between <laughs> singing and opera singing in some sort of weird it's a bit Jekyll like, and Hyde mashups. I'll just point out that in the official music video, he shaved his beard so that one <laughs> angle would be him without a beard and one was with a beard. Oh my God, please tell me half he's going to have half and half on the night. <laughs> <laughs> but really subtly. Like I'll have like a navy blue suit and a black suit. Like it's so subtle you barely notice. Oh, he's one. So, <laughs> <laughs> well the thing my is, heart, is, this song is, me- it's mental. It's got a talking intro. He duets with himself. Yeah. It's bizarre. Like, Bizarre. He's wearing fingerless leather gloves in the video, for Christ's mm. sake. It's been talked about so much, though. It's definitely getting through to the final on weirdness alone. Yeah. And also, apparently, the staging is mind blowing. That's there's because it's half and half. Technics, <laughs> there's like firework. There's apparently they've gone big oh, on okay. this. And so, I this have... is a dark horse. <laughs> and what they need is, you know, in that Batman film when there's Drew Barrymore and the one from Empire Records and they're playing two different versions of <laughs> her half faces as girlfriends. So, Drew Barrymore's in that white lingerie and she's like an angel, and the other one looks like a devil and she's wearing leather. <laughs> no, I've no idea what you want about, but well, okay. You should know that, and that's what he needs. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, it's it, Drew Barrymore. This is another. <laughs> This, I mean, this half, or this semi-final is It's the most is fun. Nuts, I love it. Right? If you miss Thursday night, you are mental. <laughs> is it Thursday? Thursday. Yeah. I thought it was Friday. I'll get to watch both semi-finals. Yay! Yay. Um, yeah, this one, uh, this one's great. And I really hope it, I really hope it gets through. Benji, there's a song called Yodel It! Exclamation Mark. Oh, God. 
I'm, I'm so sad I'm we weren't here for Romania, that. Romania, it's crazy. Hi, on the hill, was it going I mean, <laughs> yo, I'm gonna say to all the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, honestly, it has a it's that. Oh it's those it like, two things um, together. It's, it's not, not good. good. No, it's not good. Not good. But we want it to win. Um, okay. It's not. I'm just aware, <laughs> right, that we are an hour away from oh, the fuck, second okay. semi, the first so, semi-final starting. So we need that's to. That's fine. We're gonna crack, crack on. In. Next up is, so we're gonna have to play No Way Norway. Um, joust, joust, joust. Um, with grab the moment. So this is the one that we've had a bit of a contentious issue with in terms of them using vocal samples in part of it rather than singing live, which has been complained about, but the EBU are allowing it to take place. Yes. So we're gonna listen to a little bit of this now. I don't feel I... like the word grab should be used post Trump. <laughs> no, I agree. Uh... And actually when you look at who's singing it. Yeah. So, I mean, as I've put down here, I think the singer looks like he's about to go on a night out in Clapham and everyone knows how I feel about Clapham. Put them I, in a box. I also Benji have also issues agrees. With we have yeah. big issues with Clapham. Yeah. So um play a little bit of this now. So when it's all or nothing, I put my nerves in the coffin. So when it's all or nothing, I put my nerves in the coffin. I could feel my face just I was sitting cross armed with an angry face. I looked round to the two of you <laughs> and you both looked murderous <laughs> to say the least. Because as obviously, clearly, why we are here, we are big Eurovision fans. Yeah. We are lovers of the art of Eurovision, which yeah. it is its own art form. Yeah. This is a disgrace to the art of Eurovision. In the words of Deborah Meaden, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, I'm with you, mate. Like the EBU, you know, we have to go along with Yonola and the EBU. They have allowed this. Yeah, yeah. I think that is not acceptable for no. them to have that level of robotic. That's vo that's vocal sampling, and it's that's not, not a tiny yeah. amount. It makes up a a decent part of the vocals in that song. And that's your favorite, isn't it? And it doesn't. Well, it doesn't even sound like a ro like if it was a real distinction between robot voice and human voice. You I could would agree, but that. it sounds like his voice. It sounds like his yeah. voice just sampled a lot. Yeah. And, and if he was someone that could do. Um, Oh, like the guy from Police Academy. Called? Yeah, like the guy from Police Academy. Yeah. The people you see at like <laughs> Leicester Square train yeah. station yeah, or yeah, yeah. the tube station who can do all the, the vocal bits and pieces. Great like, gimmick. Do that. That's, that's a, a great, great gimmick. That's, that's a, could, great that's a idea. Yeah, that's, if you can do that live. That's a gimmick that would make it worse for me, but I would prefer it. But yeah. I would prefer that. Not that I'm saying that I would enjoy that, but that is a gimmick for Eurovision. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. I would accept that. Yeah. Yeah. Using vocal sampling and having some guy that looks like he's walked straight out of All Saints and is trying to make Eurovision cool. Yeah. No, fuck off. No, you like Eurovision isn't meant to be cool. Yeah. In, and I'm saying cool in it you know in be, quotation it marks. Can like be cool. it can be cool when it's understated cool. When it's yeah. um, but this is someone exactly. trying to be cool. Yeah. This is yeah, what I mean by Amanata. Genuinely cool. Genuinely cool. cool. She could stand up there and exactly. sing ABC. And one, also two, three. looking into this, so Croatia in 1999 yeah. were docked points really? after using a synthesized voice in their backing track, mm. right? Who complained about this? Norway. Norway. No, the Norwegian, no way. No way. Right? The Norwegian delegation complained <laughs> and Croatia were docked points. Now, uh, I know that the EBU have let this through, but I am going to do a passionate shout out here to anyone from any other nation who is involved in Eurovision to say, call it, dock complain, it. complain about dock this. I don't think it should be allowed. I don't think it should be allowed in the future. No. I'm just, I'm not. Especially as it. Norway did. So I, I'm going to quote, and this might be the last time I quote Pop, pop Bitch, but I mean, it's <laughs> so worth it. So I'm actually, they make the interest. They make the interesting point that Joust... So Joust isn't the collected name from the group. Uh, Joust is actually the name of the guy who is loitering at the back of the stage wearing a... Uh, a mask yeah. on so they say uh, the mask uh, an accessory which he probably thinks makes him look like Daft Punk or Dead Mouse, but in actual fact makes him look like that massive bell out of Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes, like Pop it's exactly what we were saying they're trying to be cool they're trying to be Get Dead out. Mouse if you want to be cool go be cool elsewhere yeah. Eurovision doesn't need your bullshit no, yeah. it's not even go and be cool it's going to try to be cool yeah and we'll tell you where to go Clap them. Let's move Gross. on. Let's move on. Awful. Um, so up next, we're not going to listen to it. This is Switzerland with Time Bell, Tim Belly. I'm going to say Time Bell because I prefer Time it. Bell. Time Bell with Apollo. Um, we can breeze over this one. Yeah. I, I'd be surprised if it gets through the semis. 
I can't actually even remember what it sounds like now. No, no, let's. It's it's Dull. another another middle of the road. Don't be middle, middle of the road, of the guys. Road. Either shoot the moon and be terrible, or be amazing. <laughs> be remembered. That's just all be, anyone that's wants. What we said earlier, just be, be memorable. Remembered. Be memorable. That's all anyone wants. If we were in charge of Eurovision, that'd be the theme. Not celebrate <laughs> diversity. Be, remember. be memorable. <laughs> who cares about diversity? <laughs> as long as people know who you are. That's all that matters. As long as you're famous. Um. So up after them is Belarus with this is Navi Band with. My goodness, Belarus. Um, Historia Mayo Zitia. Sorry for anyone from Belarus that I've pronounced that incorrectly. So this is, I mean, it's nice. Maybe we can nice doesn't cut skip it. this. Okay, we can cut. skip this then. So it's not my sort of thing normally. I'm quite into it. It's a lovely little folky song. Yeah. It is lovely. I've heard people have liked I, it. Yeah, yeah, I quite like it. I don't yeah. think it's going to do that well. Is it's it no really, fairy tale? really exciting. Oh, God, it's no. No, no fairy it's no fairy tale. tale. Nothing's fairy tale, oh. though, is it? Alexander, oh, you're a cutie pie. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to do that well. It's yeah. going to need some really good staging. But the video is very cute. The song's very nice. Yeah. I'm quite into it. I'd be perfectly... If someone said, I love Belarus's song, I'd be like, good for you. Yeah. I wouldn't be offended by them yeah, saying yeah. it. Okay. Whereas someone saying that about Norway, I'd kick them <laughs> out of my It's like how I feel about Adele. Like, I, I don't really get it that much, but I'm fine I'm with no, it. I've got no judgment. Exactly. No yeah. judgment on anyone else. Let them be. Let them I be. like chasing yeah. pavements, you know. Um, after them, again, we're going to skip this one. After the wonderfulness of Bulgaria last year, I'm afraid they have not been impressive this year. Beautifulness yeah. is a good name for a song, though. Great name for a song, yeah. but it is a fucking mess. Bad it's song. so boring. It's still as dishwater. Yeah. It's going to get lost on the evening. Christian Kostov sings it. <laughs> No interest. Done. Bring back the other one. What was her name? Polly. Wasn't Bring it Polly back from Polly. Bulgaria. Yeah. If Polly. love is a crime, oh, then, then we, we will be criminals. criminals. So great. I'll just look at her. She can be on stage just for just three minutes. Her, yeah. I'll just look at her. It's I fine. love the fact you could always point her out because she was just like glowing on the stage no matter where she was. <laughs> we heard talk of her in the um, after party last year and she was definitely a wild one, wasn't she? Hanging oh, off the yeah. balcony. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she was yeah, having yeah. a great time yeah. last year yeah. apparently. Good for you, Polly. Good Loved for you, you. Polly. She's a great hairdo. Bring back I'm Polly, Bulgaria. Come on. Just get her back in. <laughs> just the same song. Can we just, if we're going to change the rules for Norway, yeah. Yeah. change the songs to just same put song Polly back year. in the same, same song. song until we win. And we'll bring back Ooh, just a little bit and claim the crown. Every we year until had. we win. Why didn't we win that year? I'm still livid we didn't win that year. Okay, so up next is Lithuania. We're going to play a little bit of this. <laughs> Because it is bonkers. Again, this is a great one. So a f they're called Fused Mark, uh, and this is Reign of Revolution. Ah, this is one of my favourites for how insane it is. Oh, good. Here we go. It's maybe the most insane. <laughs> Like they've mashed three different songs together and hope for the best, yeah. and not really knowing what they were doing. If she could sing really well, if she didn't look so affected, if they changed the music, it, it could like if they this is changed. First draft. Here's what I think happened. I yeah. think they got to the national final and the votes were cast, and three songs got equal votes, so they just went, "We'll do all of them." <laughs> yes, just shoved it all in one place. The staging, her styling. Plus the other people on stage, plus the song, none of it makes sense. Mm. It is all in. It, none of it has any. There's no. Two what's post the word Jamala as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, definitely just with a different the colour and yeah. the things in the ground. Yeah, the it's, dresses. There's no yeah. cohesion you between can't, all the different parts. You can't say she's not trying though. She's trying fine. It's you can't else say any of them aren't trying, Roland. <laughs> well, but you it's can. not there's bloody a, good enough. There's a few right. of them. Um, Austria is not trying. Yeah, it's absolutely not going to get through the semis. But uh, good for you, Lithuania. Well <laughs> next few we're not going to play either. So up next is Estonia with Koitum and Laura with Verona. This song is truly awful. The Koitul tune. It is yeah. absolute nonsense. I, I'm I'm kind of hoping that they do something outrageous on the evening. Like 
I kind of hope that they're going to sing really flat. Live and animals? It makes it even worse. Oh, I hope, yeah. Because it's a terrible duet that's uh. nonsense. Um, so I'm looking forward to this being a stand standout moment in the Are evening. you looking on Pop Bitch again for some more No, I'm notes. just... I'm just hey, just don't, 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 don't tell my notes. enough, can you? Uh, We've just seen the report. It's really great. It's yeah. really great that Let's, I'm, I'm hoping that they will be this year's Gemini. <laughs> That song is actually really good. And We've you can put me on the record song. and say that. We've discussed song. this. I know you have. I know you Step have. song, it should have been. <laughs> they, was, yeah. they were just, they I mean, chose. she she's a benefits cheat. Mm. Yeah. Um, moving on after and that. That is fact as well. We're not going to get fact. sued for that. No Cannot slander. Cannot get sued. <laughs> fact. Um, but we love him. Yeah, we love him. Love Poor him. boy. Um, up next in the evening is Israel with Imri and I Feel Alive. Also not going to play this. It is a crappy EDM track sung by an attractive, very, very attractive. bland boy. Very attractive. Yeah, but, but how attractive, very, attractive uh, very bland. Very not attractive. Mans, very not attractive. Slavko. He's got okay. abs on him. He's hot. He's got abs on him. Like if, he walk, if, if we were sat in Victoria Park cruising boys, <laughs> we'd give him the eye. How many vodkas would we be, be down one, to? We wouldn't remember him later in the evening. Right, okay. Yeah. Um... So, oh, oh, also, ones. you missed this earlier. I know that other listeners yeah. have heard this already, yeah. but we had another email from Lynn. Oh, the lovely Lynn. Lovely Lynn. That's for you, Lynn. Wait a minute. Oh, there you go, big pop for you. That was just my tongue, though, Lynn. <laughs> Secret. You can do that whenever you want. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> so, Lynn emailed us again and um, made it clear to us that the, you know, her, her wonderful phrase, her lovely Finnish phrase. Daisy and William. Yeah, it's like William asking Daisy to go to the festival. Of course. Yeah. So, that's actually a Downton Abbey reference that never got. <laughs> it's not a catchphrase at all. Oh. It's just from Downton Abbey. I, I don't. I no, neither do we. I don't know her. No. no. In the words of Mariah Carey, I don't know her. <laughs> but we're, we're happy we're to using, keep it anyway. Yeah, we're using it as a catchphrase for the rest of our lives. Well, I hope they get to go to the fair Festival. more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me too. So uh, that was the semi-finalists. And yes. uh, hopefully that has informed your decision. If you're listening to this, of course, as you will be, feverishly on Thursday, morning, Thursday morning, listen to it. So I'm prepared for Thursday night for mm-hmm. the second semi-final. Have you done um, the other big ones? Though? No. no. So this is a s- oh. this second is what half we're of the to. big six. Sorry, I'm un- So we've now got, um, oh, as you should be. You yeah. should be very excited about this. Everyone oh, is. So then we've got, um, we're going to talk about France, Spain and the UK. So firstly, we've got France. Now, I mean, we can play Never it. good. I'm not interested. All right. Is okay, it, good. Are they doing a ballad as per usual? It's an odd one. It's mm. quite, it's a very beautiful, I mean, she's an absolute babe, the yeah. woman singing it. Yeah, so it's yeah. Alma with Requiem. She's Who does a she total look babe. Like? She looks like every pretty Parisian girl you walk past right. on the street. Gotcha. She looks very French. Basic. She's very gorgeous, but nothing interesting. Brunette. The song is nothing interesting. So she kind of goes, it's all very slow. And then she goes a bit more fun. And then it goes slow again. And I just, I forget it. I know what it is. Yeah. yeah Stop yeah, yeah, relying yeah. on that body yoddy yoddy. Exactly. 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 Not interested. So after that, we are going to play now. We're going to play a bit of um, Spain. Oh. This is Manel Navarro with Do It For Your Lover. A veces cuesta decir todo lo que uno piensa. A veces la vida causa estragos sin que te des cuenta. A veces parece que es como una melodía. Frustrada y perdida, no nos deja ver la luz del día. Do it for your lover, do it for your lover, baby. Clap your hands and do it for your lover, do it for your lover. Do it for your lover, baby. Oh, Roland got fed up with I that one straight away. Fuming. He It's crap. He is... He's a right obnoxious git, isn't he? The sort of guy that I absolutely detest. Yeah, <laughs> like, as, as do we all. It's I, a bit like when I was... I, I've um, Just to let everyone know, I've just won a campaign to be the president <laughs> of the SU at my university. Just to let yeah. everyone know. If you could all email and tweet thanks, I'd be really grateful. <laughs> um, but I went round to go and talk to everyone, and there was this one guy who looked a bit like him, and yeah. when I said something to me, his response was, ah, oh, rock and roll. Oh, oh yeah, he'd say rock and roll. And you roll. went, don't vote for me. I did. <laughs> I don't want your don't vote. I said, I'm I retracting your vote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he is the sort of guy who learnt how to play acoustic guitar at university by copying Jack Johnson chords off the internet mm. so that he could have sex with women. Yeah. And he knows four chords. And he knows yeah. four chords. And those four chords but are G, C, and D. For, for young, naive women. Yeah. And exactly. don't, I'm not being judgy. I've no. been that young, naive woman in the past. <laughs> don't worry. I've, I've, been been old. Old. Hey. I've fallen for the odd 
musician or comedian that's never gone down well, <laughs> has it? Benji knows this. In I'm great that's about to pick up the piece. That's... Jesus Christ. Uh, on the converse, I am. If a girl can play four chords on the guitar, I am. Yeah, so we're just as gullible yeah, as each other. Yeah, we're there. terrible. But never anymore. For me, they Not need anymore. to be able to play at least three instruments, one being the oboe and the second one being the viola. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just shit. And also, when you go, when you get a bit further into this, I don't know if we're going to play the clip of it actually on the podcast. This also seems to have, when I watched him performing it, it had some sampled vocals in. What the fuck? So they're similar to Norway. So it's not just Norway that have done it. Like everything's going mad this year. I think like this is K. the year where, where you know, you look at the world and the, the politics that's going on right now. Oh God. The one thing that's keeping everything together is Eurovision. If we don't follow the Eurovision rules, I don't know if we can all survive in this world <laughs> right now, okay? Okay, that definitely, we'd slightly <laughs> misdoubt it. Rolling. So no, to be fair to Spain, I think that they actually, as an example, uh, they actually did change their song so that it fit within the Eurovision rules, which Norway refused to do. Yeah, so down, like you. the producer's fine, the singer, okay. I still okay. think he's a bit of an arsehole. Yeah, no, he is an arsehole. Oh, absolutely. Like he would, he would, he is the sort of guy... I'm probably this is maybe <laughs> libelous that I'm going to say, but to me he seems in the video. Maybe this is less libelous. Prepare for a to bleep. be the sort of person who would you'd be in a club and he'd grab your bum <laughs> and he'd be like, you turn around and go, so what did you just fucking do? And he'd be like, well, you know, mm, and just have this little grin on his face, like, oh, you know, you love it. You're like, no, no. you awful. I think we can say he would appear. He appears in the video like he would be that sort of guy he appears yeah. in the video like he would be that sort <laughs> and of guy and it also seems like I once okay. knew yeah. someone I once That's knew okay. someone who said that they wanted to have waves tattooed around their feet oh. so it was like they were walking on water all the time. Ah, that's him that's, that's him. him I hope you never that's spoke him. to that person apart again apart from that apart from all that slander I'm sure he's a lovely guy uh, no, no I don't think he is nah. I don't think he is I wouldn't hang he's out with not. him he's not um, yeah, sod that. So up uh, finally oh, is yeah. our entry, the oh. lovely Lucy Jones with Never Give Up On You. Let's have a look. Now you can see how far you've walked, the mountains climbed, the oceans crossed. We know the lyrics. Have, Lovely um, Lucy. Yeah, I have this thing where sometimes if I can't sleep, I put one song on repeat so yeah. that my brain gets numbed into going to sleep by yeah. repetition. Did that with this the other night and decided I actually quite like it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's called Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, uh, no, I um, I mean, we, we've been, you know, <clears throat> following the, obviously, the UK entry from yeah. the start. We yeah. went to You Decide. Yeah. It wasn't our favourite. Yeah. But Lucy is a very competent singer. Yeah. She's very confident. Yeah. She's also not English, which is helpful. She's Welsh. That's <laughs> yeah. obviously going to help. She's very lovely. She's very beautiful. Yeah. It's it's not a bad song. They have changed the production of it slightly since the first showing of it as yeah. well to make yeah. it more interesting. Apparently, the staging is wonderful. I've seen the staging. So oh, there's uh, mirrors and glitter, isn't there? So mm, she has, and I know each year... We Bare, barefoot is a winner Barefoot as well. is a winner. So each year we do like get... Diana Vickers. Quite, <laughs> sorry, Diana <Robert. laughs> Vickers. So each, each year we do get... I mean, I personally, and lots of people do get quite excited about uh, the UK entry from the UK. Mm. And, um, you know, we, we start getting... Oh, the odds are that they'll be, you know, fourth favourite or whatever... Since she has been seen live on stage with the staging and with her live singing, and her live singing, we've always said, has been better than the studio singing that she does and her performance, yeah. people have really been bigging this one up. And I think I think we can be confident that she will be on the left-hand side of the board. I agree. We've it's, said this from the off, though. It's been a long time since yeah. we could have said that about other acts. we can, you know, you can quite... There's been certain acts in the past very few for yeah. the UK where you can go they're not going to do that bad yeah. but then they have um, Isabel I actually was having a little walk down memory lane the other day okay um, and I was listening to our episode that we recorded um, 
uh, preparing for Eurovision You Decide when okay. before the UK had even decided on yeah. our entry. And I was, it was really interesting. So that was back when we had six UK entries yeah. uh, and we were listening to all of the entries yeah. and deciding. And I have a little quote from you ah! um, from that episode. Oh, no. uh, and I just thought I'd play it You're because jail, it's Isabel. quite interesting. Oh no, <laughs> so what did I here say? Here we go. At first, when I listened to it, straight away ruled it out and was like, no, nope, mm-hmm. bored, mm-hmm. bored of it, yeah. I'm not interested, it's not yeah. going to do well. But now thinking about it again, in a, in a, and again in a Eurovision context of so having it performed at the finals on in the front stage. of Europe yeah. on the stage with Lights everyone there watching, and, yeah. I think Europe could fall in love with Lucy. So I think, I mean, we we were fairly spot on, right? We went wrong, were we? No. She's going to be wearing a big floaty dress. Yeah. She's going to be her. I mean, on I don't mean stage. to knock you, but you're not exactly Nostradamus. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure we all knew she'd wear a long floaty dress. But I mean, <laughs> no, no, but we were talking about she needs to be the focus. She's the only one on she stage. She needs to be the focus she, of this song. They can't have distractions. No, they she, can't have backing singers or anyone fanning around or she's like carrying doing weird this, dancing or they've anything. Got, they've got this amazing stage. And they are making these, this very much about yeah, her. They've got these sharp mirror shards behind her, and in the opening shot is her. Um, being duplicated, replicated in these mirrors. It's all about her. And as a stage <laughs> actress, she is carrying this and she can on that stage. And that's what she does best is is live convincing the audience that she is the centre of that world. Um, yeah, no, I think actually genuinely this is one where we will... We're not going to win. No. Uh, but... I think Lucy's going to get one of our highest entries since the, you know, since the Jessica Garlic Jade Ewan era. Oh, yeah. I would say, you know what? I didn't think I would remember last year's song, but I do. Oh, God. But I... Do you I, Jade? Yeah. Get oh. Going to na, uh, oh, 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 yeah. Na, 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 yeah. oh. I do not think I will remember her name, her face, oh, no. or this song in three years' time. I think we will. Um, but that's fine. I think... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I good. Think that's okay. We don't. You don't need to remember it in three years. We're not going to win. No. So you don't need to remember yeah. it in three years' time. You just need to remember it by the end of. Well, you. I remember Joss Dobovi as a foreign um, voter. Yeah. yeah. To Eurovision, yeah. need to remember it by the time voting <laughs> opens. Yeah. That's all we need. You only need oh, a three-hour oh, memory. So also, yeah. I uh, didn't say this in the news because I was going to save it for now, but the big six have uh, picked out what half of the uh, contest they're going to be singing she's in. She's second half. She is second half. Which is really good for if us. If she's in the spot between about 17 and 24, that is the best spot to be in. Yeah. Um, so actually, we're already on to a winner. Also, the only one out of the big five, the big six, that is in the first half, thank God, is Italy. So I would just say that, you know what, Lucy should be proud. Uh, so far, like, she has wowed a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. She's impressed a lot of people. A lot of people are saying, actually, the UK has legitimately putting a We've proper song this year. and a we proper have. entry. She's got a great voice. She should be proud. And I think that that's as much as we could possibly ask for is that, is that people are quite happy with our song. Good work, BBC. Good work, BBC. You've done Thanks, well mate. with the staging and the singer this year. The last good one was Scooch, wasn't it, really? No. Yes. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> come on. Like, it's not on the same level. So Anyway, we're done. You think this is better than... Sorry. You think this no, is we're done. We have to actually finish, we have otherwise to go, we're going to miss the semi-finals. I'm, I'm yeah. going to have to watch the semi on, on the bus. Right. So that's it, guys. Literally... Uh, Nolan's going to have a semi on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Oh, it's like being in secondary school again. <laughs> uh, you can't control them. Um, so that's it. Like w- the l- Next time you're going to hear us, it's going to be all be over. All done, Terrifying. dusted. No so next song, week we're going to do um, no song. No, no, no. There's no God. time for a fucking song, mate. We've got We've to get home. We've got to get home. We've got to get We've got to get to Matt's. Got to get We've your got food. an outfit to do. I've got a sausage sandwich to eat. My Listen. Outfit. So next week is going to be round up. Uh, round up week. So yeah. we're going to have some a little treat. We've got an audio treat. We're we going to do, talk yeah, about yeah. a little recorded treat for yeah. next week Ooh. for the listeners. Yeah. And obs, we're just going to be there's going to be bits from the night. We're going to be talking about it. There will be audio clips from the evening and this Saturday. If if you have not bought tickets already, if you live in London or surrounding area and you can get to London this Saturday night in time for Eurovision, we are, well, Benji's um, could join twin. 
recently <laughs> separated a conjoined My twin portion sliding of fries took a lot of um, surgery Ha is hosting an evening at the Montague Arms in Peckham this Saturday night. It's a Eurovision screening. There will be prizes. There will be drag. There will be food and drinks and fantastic. booze and shouting. Me food? and Roland will be there. Yeah, those cupcakes. Oh, cupcakes. Cupcakes with Eurovision on the top. Yeah. yeah Eurovision branded cupcakes, non-official. So come along. Tickets are five pounds if you buy them in advance. They are more expensive a little bit on the door, but it's going to be a whole pub full of people who absolutely bloody love Eurovision. Yeah. Yeah, it's you- going to be busy. It's going to be fun. It's going to be your vision I'm going to look delightful Where, wherever wherever you are on Saturday night I think we just show us pictures say, of you if as well like tweet us at yeah. Euphoria cast tweet us pictures of you on Saturday night if you're not in London if you can't come to meet us do tweet us pictures or email us at, which is euphoriapodcast at gmail.com just oh. tell us what you're up to we want to know um, everything you're doing this weekend yeah. and how you feel about the evening and we want so many emails next week because it's going to be a full roundup of the night we want to know what you're doing we will be recording it i would guess monday tuesday next week yes yeah yeah yeah. so send us your roundup of eurovision before then and and just fucking enjoy yourselves like oh this God, is the best time. this, this is, is what we're building up for right this is like be all safe. of you listening absolutely love it <laughs> be safe whatever happens have fun have and if you're fun. there I but hate not too you. much fun wear a condom if <laughs> So, but do enjoy it. If your country wins, congratulations. If your country loses, just enjoy the fuck Good out for of you, it. Anyway. Like, take it on the chin. You've taken yeah. part. Um, we are about to go and watch semi final one. Yeah. So, like, we're very right. excited. We're, we're, yeah, we got to go. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> let's wrap this up. Isabel, as we end this uh, podcast, we end, we're going to end it in the same way we end every single podcast with the usual catchphrase Isabel, please can you yodel it? <laughs> Uh, 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 so, I was going to say okay. something like, I'm more of a royal male kind of girl. Ah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, we're yeah. with that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening and have amazing Eurovision. See you next week. Are you I love you.